Hey guys, this is Connor from the Place of Minecraft. I'm here yet again with Cypher 117, and we're going to be bringing you today a kind of showcase of um, a little creation we've made. It's a it's a combination lock, but we've made it extremely compact, as you as you can see right now. So I'm going to let Cypher 117 again explain his part of the explaining. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm going to explain my part of the explaining. Yeah, that's very um, much it. Okay, so. Well, there's lots of different kinds of RS null latch, and a lot of them have different systems. Um, some of them you just flip the levers, and then the door will open. But then once you're through to the other side of the door, you can't close it behind you, so that's really not secure. Um, and also it means people can just flip all the levers, and they can just keep guessing over and over really quickly. Um, this system, so what we've got, we've got three levers, and then we've got a button. So you set your levers to your correct position, or what you think is correct, and then you press the button. And then if it's correct, the door will open, and it'll be held open by an RS no latch, which we've got round the back. Right there, right there. And then when you walk through, you'll hit the pressure plate, which will flip the RS no latch, and the door will close behind you. And then because the pressure plate is right next to the door, when you stand on the pressure plate, it'll power the door directly, because they're adjacent, without changing any redstone through the back, and it'll let you through. Uh, so you don't need to, you know, flip any crazy stuff uh, in the redstone to escape from your vault or whatever. Another good feature is, say you can't remember the combination, so you put in what you think is correct, press the button, yep, that's correct, and then you want to reset it again so no one else finds out the correct combination. You just flip one of the levers and it'll close. So you don't so when you want to reset it you don't have to run through, hit the pressure plate and run back through. Right. Um I think we should actually literally just show them how compact this actually is and how it works, but a tutorial will be coming on it later if we get enough of a response. So right, as you can see, it's pretty goddamn small. It's only if you include if you include this wall and the levers on this wall, it's gonna be what? Five wide, if you actually include the levers. But only behind Behind the reds, behind the actual wall, it's only three wide. It hardly extends out whatsoever, and it goes what two, three deep. It's very, very, very small, very compact. Now, what's also good about this kind of thing is that you can easily extend the, the combination, the number of inputs you actually want, simply by adding more AND gates. So that's all you actually need, and so you really could make a much, much harder, more complex combination lock from that. Ours is just three levers, just to make it simple so you can see. But wouldn't it wouldn't actually reduce the overall like um, width of the actual uh, combination lock itself? You'd just be making it longer by the same amount of levers that you're adding. Now another little um, security issue we've addressed is that normally, um, often on many combination locks, yeah, it all works fine. There's a number of other settings, but the problem is you put redstone torch there and it opens the door. Not very secure. But there's an easy way about this, and we just simply thought to use stairs. I mean, glass is also you can use, or you can do some redstone trickery and make it less compact to solve it. But, you know, this looks fine, this looks nice and presentable, and I can't place my redstone torch here. Uh, so, I think that's about it, isn't it? It's also worth noting that placing redstone torches either side of the door and above the door aren't going to open it. Mm -hmm. So, that's about it for this quick video showcasing our compact combination lock. If we get enough response, enough number of likes or comments on this video, we will make a tutorial on how to do it. I reckon 10 likes. All right. Just throwing that out there, 10 likes. So, thanks for watching, guys. Goodbye.